I've learned so much from artists. You can see the world in a completely different way. In fact, you can make up how the world should look, and then you can build it, and you can paint it, and you can actually share it with people. And that actually inspires action, inspires people to move, and inspires people to think in a very, very different way. I thought that was just an amazing, amazing idea. And if I could explore the world, if I could craft something and really learn how to build a vision of what I wanted to see in the world, I could do amazing things. And that was the concept that I've realized over time is the most important thing for me to do is to see a picture of where I want to go, see a picture of what I want to do in the world, and then figure out how to work backwards from that. And to make sure that every single detail of working backwards from that I'm proud of something that I love to do. I love the work, not just the end product, not just the end picture, but every step along the way. The future has already arrived. It's just not evenly distributed yet, which is an amazing thing to think about. And this is exactly how we run our companies as well. We get before the company and say, an idea that can change the course of the company can happen anywhere in the company. The future is already in all of your heads and your work Everything that you have to do in your life is to distribute it. Disruption is moving things around, scattering it around, it has no purpose, it has no vision, it has no values, no leadership. This is not what I want to do in the world. This is not what I want to see more of in the world. Um, I want something with purpose. I want something with direction. I want something with thoughtfulness. So instead of constantly talking about disruption, I believe that we should talk and focus more on things like revolution. Revolution actually has shared purpose. Revolution has an idea, it has values, it has leadership, it has direction. It has something that people can see. It has an end state that actually has a positive impact. But most importantly, it's a cohesive end-to-end -end experience that people can really get behind and join. And sometimes revolution changes everything and it's loud and it's violent. Sometimes revolution is silent and it moves just as much. It move, can move the entire world. We are not here to do what has already been done. Know what the old masters did. Know how they composed their pictures, but do not fall into the conventions they established. These conventions were right for them and they are wonderful. They made their language. You make yours. They can help you all the past can help you. What we end up doing when everything goes right, when we move from creation and we find something that resonates with other people and we organize a team to build something together, what's the end product? It's something that delights people. It's something that they want to listen to again and again. It's something that they can't help but engage in. They can't help but tap their feet to. You are the future. You are the ones that have the ideas in your head. You're the only ones that can actually build it for yourself. And that is your task. You are building what you want to see in the world. You are making a bet with the world that it resonates with other people. Sometimes you're going to win the bet. Sometimes you're going to lose the bet. You put that loss on the shelf and you bring it back another day. But it's up to you to make that interpretation, to make that creation and to paint what you want to see in the world.